Hi, this is Ham Radio with Jim, W6LG, your YouTube Elmer for Ham Radio Basics. Um, in getting ready for the big move, and it took months, nine months, um, one of the things that was discussed was the number of coax connectors that I had strewn about the, the feed line in the backyard and whether or not I incurred more loss than I realized. So as we packed up things, I gathered up the coax connectors and I put them together in a string. I'll see if I can pick this up. I'll be slightly out of focus, but there are roughly 50 coax connectors here. I've done the test before where I used a watt meter to measure the loss and, and there wasn't much of anything. The Array Solutions uh, AIM 4170. This will measure loss down to about a hundredth of a dB so I can get a really good idea about whether or not these connectors are lossy. Uh, there's some that are really old or maybe they're not. We'll find out more about these coax connectors right after this. Okay, so let's look at these coax connectors. I'm set them on a table, point the camera down at them. I think what I'll do is uh, measure in increments, measure the loss in increments of maybe a foot. Um, and then if there's appears to be greater loss with a certain kind of connector, I may daisy chain a bunch of those together and see what, uh, see what happens. Um, from prior experience, this doesn't incur much loss. I think I'll do it at 30 megahertz since I'm an HF guy and see what it looks like. So um, next picture you should see will be the uh, string on a white table. And then I'll do a screen capture of the AIM4170 um, graphical analysis. And it, it prints out some data and we'll, we'll pick that data up and use it to uh, to measure the loss in a string of coax connectors. And again, there's about 50 here. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to count down um, 20 coax connectors and then separate the first 20 from what looks like about 50 connectors. And then we'll do a measurement with the AIM and see, uh, see what it says. And again, this is going to be at 30 megahertz. Uh, be a very different answer at 2 meters, for example. All right, here's the graph and the loss at 30 is about 0 0.05 dB, so virtually uh, lossless. Okay, let's do the next 20 connectors and I'll reattach the first 20 and then count up from there another 20 and see how far that goes. And again, um, these are mostly adapters, um, and most of them have been outside. So here it's drawn the graph again. Um, this time the loss is about 0.12, so roughly double what it was for the first 20. So now we're at 40 coax connectors, and still that amounts to just a couple of percents. So let's count the remainder connectors and see how many that uh, that are left in the chain. Okay, I did a quick count. Um, there are 55 connectors in total. So let's plot that and see what happens. Okay, and the answer is uh, about 0.17 dB. Um, Let's figure out how much 0.17 dB is, and uh, we'll do that by going to a website and grabbing a uh, uh, an, an online converter and see what that looks like. So here's the uh, the converter uh, minus 0.17 dB <coughs> is um, less than four percent. So total loss in the system uh, about four percent. Um, and again, l looking at this group of coax connectors, this was done at HF at 30 megahertz. 
um, two meters and 440, the losses would be quite a bit larger. It also assumes a, a low SWR. Um, in the face of a high SWR, the, the answer again would be different. So there you have it. Uh, old coax connectors, kind of tarnished, not so good looking, but uh, the loss was uh, virtually nothing. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. I'm Jim, W6LG for Ham Radio Basics. Thanks for watching.